a cauldron chemistry video. Dilution. This video shows you how to do various types of calculations involving dilution and chemistry. Dilution calculations. The dilution formula is M1V1 is equal to M2V2, where M1 is the molar concentration of the solution before diluting, and V1 is the volume of the solution before diluting. M2 is the molar concentration of the solution after diluting, and V2 is the final or the total volume of the solution after diluting. Here's an example. 250 milliliters of water is added to a 50 milliliter sample of 6 molar HCl solution. What is the final concentration of the HCl? M1 is the concentration of the original sample before dilution, which in this case is 6 moles per liter. V1 is the volume of the original sample, which is 50 milliliters. M2 is the final concentration of the diluted solution. This is our unknown in this example. V2 is the total volume of the diluted solution, which is the 50 mils of the original sample plus the 250 mils of water that are added to it, which comes to a total of 300 milliliters. We write the dilution formula, then we solve it for M2, our unknown. M2 equals M1V1 over V2. M1 is 6 moles per liter. V1 is 50 milliliters, and V2 is 300 milliliters. Notice we can cancel out the milliliters on the top and the bottom of the fraction. Solving this expression gives 1 mole per liter. So the molar concentration of HCl after dilution is 1 mole per liter. The dilution formula can also be used for other variations of dilution problems. Here are more examples. Water is added to a 100 milliliter sample of 2.0 mole per liter NaO8 solution to bring the volume to 250 milliliters. What is the final concentration of NaOH? The concentration of the original undiluted sample M1 is 2 moles per liter and the volume of the original sample V1 is 100 milliliters. The final concentration of the diluted solution M2 is the unknown in this case. In this problem, it is stated that water is added to bring the volume to 250 milliliters. So the final total volume of the diluted solution, V2, is 250 milliliters. We start by writing the dilution formula. Then we solve it for the unknown quantity, M2. M2 equals M1V1 over V2. M1 is 2 moles per liter. V1 is 100 milliliters and V2 is 250 milliliters. The unit milliliters can be cancelled from the top and the bottom of the fraction. Calculating gives us an answer of 0.8 moles per liter. So we can state that the molar concentration of NaOH after the dilution is 0.8 moles per liter. Example 3. How much water needs to be added to a 15 milliliter sample of 3 mole per liter KMnO4 solution to bring the final concentration of the KMnO4 to 0.2 moles per liter. We can do this problem in two steps. First, we find the final volume V2. We use the dilution formula for this. Next, we calculate the water that needs to be added to reach the final volume V2. The initial concentration M1 is 3 moles per liter, and the initial volume of the sample is 15 milliliters. The final concentration of the diluted solution, M2, needs to be 0.2 moles per liter, and the final volume of the diluted solution, V2, is our unknown in this case. In the first step, we find the total volume of the diluted solution, V2. We start by writing the dilution formula. Then we rearrange it to solve for V2. V2 equals M1V1 over M2. M1 is 3 moles per liter, V1 is 15 milliliters, and M2 is 0.2 moles per liter. The units of concentration, moles per liter, can be cancelled from the top and the bottom of the fraction. 
leaving us with the unit milliliters. And the final volume, D2, is calculated as 225 milliliters. We now know that the final volume of the diluted solution will be 225 milliliters. This final volume, V2, is the sum of the original volume, V1, and the volume of water added. We can write an equation for this. V2 equals V1 plus the volume of water added. We then rearrange the equation to solve for the volume of water added. The volume of water added equals V2 minus V1, which is 225 milliliters minus 15 milliliters, the original volume of the sample. This equals 210 milliliters. So the volume of water that needs to be added to a 15 milliliter sample of 3 mol per liter KMnO4 solution to bring the final concentration of KMnO4 to 0.2 moles per liter is 210 milliliters. Often, a chemist must calculate the volume of a concentrated solution of an acid or base to use in order to produce a dilute solution for use in the laboratory. Example 4. What volume of 12 mol per liter concentrated hydrochloric acid, HCl, must be used in order to prepare a 100 milliliter solution of dilute HCl with a concentration of 0.5 moles per liter? The concentration of the initial solution, M1, is 12 moles per liter. The volume of the initial concentrated solution, V1, is our unknown in this case. The concentration of the dilute solution, M2, is 0.5 moles per liter. And the volume of the dilute solution, V2, is 100 milliliters. We start with the dilution formula. Then we rearrange it to solve for the unknown, V1. V1 equals M2V2 over M1. M2 is 0.5 moles per liter. V2 is 100 milliliters. And M1 is 12 moles per liter. The units of concentration moles per liter can be cancelled from the top and the bottom of the fraction. And the final answer comes to 4.17 milliliters. So in order to prepare a 100 milliliter solution of dilute HCl with a concentration of 0.5 moles per liter, a person would need to start with 4.17 milliliters of concentrated 12 molar HCl.